Guys, yeah, it's my comic D hundred, and so we're going to continue on with the Dark Knight's final tie-in with Nightwing issue twenty nine. So we're right where we left off in Teen Titans issue twelve, uh, basically with an ice giant uh, chasing Nightwing. But basically, the story behind that is um, Barbatos is basically going around and giving uh, basically these villains these cards that grant some powers. And basically, he did that with Riddler first, and then we have um, <clears throat> Mister Freeze right about now. And so then, really about this issue is really great. I love I love this series so much. I love how it's all pulled together. But yeah, Barbatos is basically giving these villains these crazy powers. It just gives them these abilities to basically create chaos in the world in a kind of way. Yeah, so basically, um, the Gotham Resistance, I was going to do them since that's actually the name of the tie-in Gotham Resistance. Um... <clears throat> we get a look at Mr. Freeze and these new powers he has, and to me, I think he looks badass because these powers look awesome. But then the Teen Titans are basically attacked by uh, Baratos' crows, which are basically his robins. So then we have the Gotham Resistance basically fighting these weapons to uh, fight off Mr. Freeze's new, like, ice giants or whatever they're called. So yeah, they do a pretty good job actually fighting these things off. Um, and then, you know... To me, right here, it looks like Killer Croc kind of looks like the Hulk. Everybody remembers playing the Hulk, but yeah. Um, basically, Robin basically destroys Mr. Freeze, and then they defeat him. But then, really, after that, we get this thing that the Crow was basically transforming Teen Titans into these, and the Suicide Squad, into these hideous monsters. And we won't get to see that until Suicide Squad issue 26, um, I.E.V.'s Garden. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this was Man Comic Gear